Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So you might be confused why I'm making another Me6 video. Uh, well, basically in the, my original Me6 video, which actually did pretty well, thank you guys for watching that. It was basically just how to install Me6 and put it onto your Discord server and how to set it up properly. I asked in that video if you want to find me to do a follow-up where I can go more uh, in depth, a little bit more in depth at least, to all the individual features of Me6. and. A couple of you said yes, but basically the reason why I want to do this is because some of you asked about certain things in music like, hey, how do you, you know, welcome people or how do you do this? So instead of like answering all those questions, all those comments individually, I figured, okay, well, I I might as well just do the follow-up video, the more in-depth Me6 guide, I guess. Let's just get into it. So to get to your dashboard, but basically um, the first thing you should do is if you have no idea what Me6 is, watch my original video first. If you don't know how to even get Me6 onto your server, I'm, I'm using this tutorial server. I've already tried to playing around with it. I already have Me6 on this and you should too if you watch my original video. If this is the first video you're watching about Me6, you should watch the other video first. I'm gonna link it in the description. Um, it's called like how to install or set up Me6 just in the URL. So just look for that. And once you get it onto your onto your server, then go back to this one and I'll show you all the cool things you can do with it. First thing you wanna do is go to me6.xyz or xyz. And then you wanna you wanna log in, just click authorize. So once you're here, uh, please select the server. Uh, I'm gonna do the tutorial server. And you should be familiar with this screen if you watched my original video or if you've used Me6 before. So first off, you can actually see that there are three features that you can't use unless you, you know, go for premium, uh, which, you know, I don't think they're really needed. Like for this one, you can record your, your conversations, I guess, when you're in a voice channel on your server, which is pretty cool into a nice MP3 file. But, you know, you can just find a third party program to do that or just use like OBS and then put it into your editor and delete the video file and then export it as an MP3. Um, this one is just like a game, like a music quiz, like trivia. So I don't know like, if you really want that. And this one, you can listen to music directly on Discord, but you can already do that with another video I made, which did really well, RhythmBot, which is free, which is really, really good. So I don't really think you really need these, but that's why they're premium, I guess though. So first thing is custom commands. Now this may seem like bigger than it is, like, oh, you can do custom commands. You need to learn how to code. No, basically all it is is just you um, you type in a command name, log, like for this one, I have exclamation point rules, and the bot will like respond and reply for um, with you know whatever you want. Like you can do like rules, so be nice. Number two, don't be rude, or right, do all your rules right, and anyone can. Uh, well, you can make anyone type in at rules. You can make it so that the bot, the bot you know, just responds in the in the chat, or you can send them a private message, or you can make it uh, random, which basically you can, you can input a bunch of different uh, responses and it will randomly pick between however many responses you have. But for now, uh, most people are gonna probably use this, like what I'm doing right now, you do at rules or exclamation point, like frequently asked questions or something, and then it responds with all your frequently asked questions. Okay, so this one is pretty self-explanatory. All the features that Mystic basically pretty much have all these three features where you can allow certain roles to do this exact command, not just any command, but you know, exclamation point rules, you can only allow, you can allow only these roles, you can ban roles, or you can even ban channels. I only have one channel, which is general, that you can't do exclamation point rules on. Another one is pretty useful too. Um, you probably already, you probably need these because you don't want people spamming these commands, especially if it's a really long. So you can do a user cooldown or even a server cooldown. So with a user cooldown, only certain users have to wait like five or however long you, you choose. For server cooldown, no one can do the command after like five or minutes or whatever you choose. Uh, this one is really cool. Uh, I didn't even know about this till recently. You can auto delete the, the message. So basically you can do exclamation point test or rules. And has it been long enough now? <laughs> If I, yeah, see, look, I had to wait. I, I put the cooldown on myself, which I don't know why it wouldn't do, make the cooldown for the admin, but whatever. So if I do test, there we go. So as you can see, it deleted the exclamation point test, but it still responded. So I think that's really cool. And I think that I'm going to do that from now on. So that's basically the gist of custom command. It's, n it's nothing fancy, but it's really, really useful. Next is levels. This is a bit more complicated. That's why it took actually me on my on my actual server to implement it. It took me a bit longer. Um, basically, the more um, people talk and basically just chat, chat in any channel you want, you can set it so that you don't gain XP with certain channels. Then they, as I said, they gain XP. And then with that, with those XP, um, if they get to a certain amount, they level up. And with certain levels, you get 
roll rewards. A level up, you can have an announcement on whatever channel you want, like on the current, you can even disable if you don't want it to say like, GG player, you you've leveled up. So, I mean, it's pretty cool to have, so I just keep it on. Um, I recommend do stack up rewards just in case you make a mistake with the rules that you don't have like Like you have a higher role, but you forget to give them a permission So I just stack it so they have everything underneath and this is where the main thing is So once they once they talk a lot and don't worry, they can't spam it uh, They only give them XP within like a couple minutes and so they can't spam So that's a that's already implemented automatically then you can give them certain rewards So obviously you don't want to give them like you don't, you don't want to give them like admin or something. So I assume you're going to have some, you have to make, you, I really recommend you make your own rules. Like um, what I have in my server is Oreo and double stuffed Oreo. So if you get to level, I think seven and 12, then you get those rules. And with obviously with those rules, you have like more permissions. Like you can post pictures, you can chat in certain exclusive chats and stuff like that. This is just your rank card. So you can do like, I think you can do exclamation point rank. Yeah. And you, you can see this. And uh, if you do exclamation point levels, you can see the leaderboard of who has the most XP and stuff like that. You can set up roles that it, once they get it, they can't gain any more XP. And this is one where there you can set up channels where they can't get XP if they text them like maybe a bot command channel, you know, where they're not really they're not really talking with people, so they shouldn't really gain XP in some of these channels. So that's uh, it's really really cool. Uh, th this level thing is definitely de optional for sure. If you don't have a lot of people on your server, there's no point in this. But if you're like a public server and you don't know these these people it's a cool incentive you can give them so yeah that's basically the levels they it gives them incentive to talk on your server and they get real re rewards if they talk a lot and they level up all right so now we're getting to moderator which is a little different from custom commands you can give certain roles mod role and all that does it's not it's not like doing it directly for you here where you make it makes a role for you it basically just see it lets me six see which roles are your moderators and it lets them do certain things, certain me six things, if that makes sense. A logging channel, which actually I have that on my server. So me six logs, it just does all the warns and bans that it does. So I actually really recommend doing that. It's really useful. It says here, users would, with any of these roles, they serve as your server moderators according to, to me six, and they're not affected by the auto mod and are immune to any of these commands. So, and the auto moderator is really, really useful. It's definitely saved my server from a lot of spam and trolls. Any bad words, you can, you can, allow some roles to type in bad words. So I heard, so obviously probably you and your mods, you can add some words like they can't say crap, right? <laughs> this is your basic bad words list. You, you have to do this obviously. And what you can do is you can delete the message, one author, or you can do both, which I recommend doing both. Um, duplicated text, I don't, I mean, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> um, or if that's spam, you can just do that too. Server invites, uh, for this one, you can, warn the author and delete the message, but I have a self promotions channel, uh, channel, where is it? Self promotions where I let people, you know, promote their YouTube, Twitch, and discord. And that's pretty much it. Cause I think it bans links. I have a Nord channel on self promotions in my case on my server. So they can't put server invites anywhere else except for self promotions. Links, this is the same. It deletes and warns the author. Again, I allow it on self promotions. Spammed caps. I just, I think I just deleted the message and warned the author too. I, pretty much all of them, I delete the message and, and warn the author because like you don't want, these are all bad. So basically you just want to do it for all of them. You can obviously customize if who who's allowed to do them and which channels are ignored. You can make it ignore other bots, which you probably should do that to be honest and automated actions. So this is, I also use this on my thing, which you also need to do this when someone has like maybe more than two infractions or two or more, I think at least two in the last 30 minutes or an hour. You can do that. Then you can mute them. You can ban them permanently. I have a temp ban for 30 minutes or you can temp mute or just kick them. So I just have a, I think I only have a, a mute and then a temp ban. So like I, I have no tolerance on my server because I've dealt with a lot of trolls. Sorry, that was my phone. I really apologize for that. Such and professionalism. And here are all the comments. I'm not going to get into all these. Basically the name is really self-explanatory. As much when ban, bans them, temp ban, clear. You can clear messages. You can just pause the video and um if you want to see and read all the things that it does so yeah, if you want to pause the video at any time you can read what all these do it's really self-explanatory too and uh, i don't really use these at too much i just do them myself like instead of doing estimation one ban i just right click and ban their name yeah let's go back to plugin that is moderator welcome this is very very self-explanatory choose a channel and you can do hey user welcome to server and you can you can make it so that it's private uh, so I guess it does another one. You can just, 
I guess I don't know if it replaces the one, but you can give a role to new users. You can send a message when a user leaves, which I don't really want to do. That's it's kind of it's fine. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Just a welcome message, which I think that's a a, a question that someone asked. This is how you do. It. You use music. You just go do. This is all you do. I think it does it for you anyway, so yeah, it's automatically turned on. Next one is timers. I don't use this because I don't feel the need, but you can if you want. Basically, it at it's the, it sends a message to any channel you want. Um, I don't know why that popped up, <laughs> and you can do whatever message you want, like subscribe or whatever, and then it can do it every one minute, however long you want on any weekday, <laughs> which is pretty cool too. So yeah, that is a timed message. It puts the it, it just sends that one message that you put down or however ha however many times you have for a certain interval on certain days. So I'm, I didn't, I don't have that because it just seemed a little bit annoying to be honest, because I'm pretty sure you can also add everyone and you don't want to keep adding everyone to obviously you don't have to add everyone, but then there's no way, no point. So yeah, search anything. So me search actually lets you search any of these. You can search an anime on this website. You can search an image, a manga, Pokemon, Twitch, an urban dictionary or a YouTube. So this is really, really cool. I didn't even, I don't even use these, but I don't know if like, if you know what to do, if you know how to use them, you just do like something to point anime freaking, I don't know, death note. I don't watch anime. So there we go. Look at that. That's really cool. Say so yeah, you just do anime, the name of the anime and it searches them and you can click on it. And that, yeah, that's, that's really cool. And you can do it with YouTube, urban dictionary, Twitch, all these. So that's cool. Um, make sure you tell your users that you can do that though, because I, I didn't even know about this. So search anything, a really cool feature, just do exclamation point. And I think only these, you, you can only do these. You can't, as you, you can't add any. So yeah, only these ones you can search for, but you know, that's still really cool. Next one. So obviously there are some that I'm going to go more in depth with like the mod and the custom commands and some that I'm not going to like the welcome, the search, anything. But so these next two are um, the Twitch and YouTube. So these are really, really cool features. I already have a video of on my on my channel on how to broadcast to people that you that you've uploaded a video. You can use that way, which I use webhooks and Zapier. But because I, I, the reason why I didn't use Me6, I knew about this feature. I knew I knew with Me6 you can you can do it yourself. But every time on my server, on my Justin the Oreo server, um, when I try to use the Me6 feature, this feature right here, it wouldn't work. It, it no video would ever like it wouldn't send a message uh, at all when I uploaded a new video um, on my server. But then when uh, my friend Sam or S for Pressed used Me6 on his server, as you can see live or YouTube, um, it worked and it worked for because he he I don't know why he put my channel on his server. Really cool of him, but uh, so yeah, as you can see, look Me6 it works here. Hey everyone, just near you post a new video, go check it out. So this. I tried this, but you know, it wouldn't work on my own server here. So I had to use something else. As you can see on announcement, I had to use a, a webhook, right? So I don't know why it works on, it worked on my, my friend's server, but it didn't work on mine, but you know, just try it out. Uh, it's, it's a lot easier if you use me six, um, basically you just do a YouTube channel name, right? You search, it searches all the channels. You click on it, you select which channel you want. So I assume you have an announcement and then boom, Hey everyone. This person posted the video, go check it out. And that's it. That's how easy it is on here. But I don't know why it never worked on, it didn't work on my server. So I had to use a different method. So that's really rough. But if it works for you, then great. Cause this is so much easier than the webhook way. On my server, the the Twitch one worked on, my, on the Justin the Oreo Art Kingdom. So I don't know. I, I might try it again. I might switch to Me6 to see if it works. But to be honest, I don't upload that much. So I wouldn't know if it, I wouldn't have much time to see if it works. So whatever, w webhooks worked fine for me. So yeah, but. You can add a streamer again, you search for any streamer you want and it does that. So basically you can broadcast to the people on your server when you, when you go live or when whatever channel you choose goes live or when you upload a new video, which is probably the most important plugin or most important feature of me six, because you know, you want people, you want to use a discord also as like a self promotion and also like a conversation place. So make sure you add everyone obviously, or else no one's, no one's going to get a notification and same for the YouTube. All right, so yeah, that's basically it. The YouTube and Twitch notifications. So Reddit, this one is definitely very, very optional. Same with the levels. Um, I actually have it on my server, which is really, really cool. So I have cool subreddit. Basically you can set up a channel, a, a, te a text channel in your server, which automatically posts a new post for a certain subreddit every time the subreddit has a new post. Unfortunately, it you can't sort it by hot or by top or something like that. You can only sort it by new. 
uh, it, add, it, add, it adds a webhook itself, so you don't have to worry about like using Zapier or whatever. So as you can see, if I go to like dank memes, um, all these messages are, it's sorting by new, right? So this was just posted like a couple seconds ago and all these. So, you know, it, it's, it's very spammy, this feature, because it just spams out every single new post that anyone does on the subreddit. So that's why I recommend you have, you have like, you, you mute them. I have them all muted, the subreddit ones. Cause you, for some reason you can't sort it by hot or like by top in the past few days. Like what Reddit, what, how I normally use Reddit. Yeah, you just saw a new one was just posted. Like it does like every couple of minutes. So, but I still find it really cool to do, to do this feature. Obviously I have it on my own. So you can do, you can have a, a subreddit bot on your Discord server, which is pretty cool. You definitely don't have to do this. This is definitely optional. And finally, last but not least, the most exciting plugin, help command yeah basically you can just do exclamation point help which gives them it sends them all the messages and commands they can do i recommend do a private message because you don't want people doing help on your server or you can just do like a server cooldown but i just do recommend i recommend doing that send them uh send the response privately and deleting the message the dashboard which will take you to this dashboard i'm pretty sure the one i'm on right now so again i i would just do these two use send it privately and deletes the actual command that they do. And that's it. That's pretty much the Mi6 uh, Discord bot. Again, for all, for all these, there's only 10 plugins, but they're really, really useful. And I pr use pretty much all of them except for uh, these two, because I, I, I use these features, but I don't use them with Mi6. But yeah, I use pretty much all of them for my own server because they're really, really useful. And they're Mi6 is pretty much a must have if, as I said before, if like you're a streamer or a YouTuber and you have like a public Discord for your fans and, and your viewers. So. so yeah, finally before the video ends, just a quick look at the settings. So it, it automatically senses which roles have admin. So it can it can actually go on to the dashboard and, and edit all this stuff. Uh, so you can add more roles if you have any more than like master bots or whatever. Premium, if you, it's yeah, five bucks a month if you want those things. Support, you can just ask them for support. I think, oh, actually that was cool. It actually invites you to a server itself. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you can join me to support. That's pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you, you, some of you guys out. As I said before, leave it in the comments below if you have any questions that I didn't touch on in this video. Or if you want, you can join my server and you can go to uh, support channel and you can ask me. Or, or if I don't answer, my cool mods will definitely give you some help too. So. Hopefully this helped. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.